Hey everybody, uh, I'm gonna make some axles for you right now. This is for my giant scale planes. I'm using grade eight uh, threaded rod. A couple of, uh, this is half inch material, half inch nuts. 1032s are gonna be the, um, the, the bolts that retain the uh, actual whole wheel onto the axle. So I throw this on my saw. Take your time with grade eight. It's really, really hardened metal. And you can really wear out your blade if you start cramming it through this fast. Just take your time, let the saw do its work. Then I'm gonna throw it on my lathe. And what you wanna do here is just keep removing the material. Now I should have probably supported the other end of this, but I was kind of in a hurry. And plus I've done this a hundred times and it's, it doesn't have to be that perfect because I do slide bearings over my axles. So here I'm just removing the material. And uh, take your time. I mean, that's the most important thing. Just take your time. Um, as you can tell, I've greatly speeded this up, but um, you know, just mo remove a little bit of material at a time and uh, until you can slide your bearing on. So I'm, I'm doing a little bit of a test um, here on the end, removing it until the bearing will slide on to give me an idea how deep I re really need to go. I could use my calipers, but you know, I've done this so much. This is just so much faster this, this way. So, you know, get the material basically removed so you can slide the bearing on. And then you're gonna take a Scotch red pad and you're gonna buff a little bit. Look, if you're doing a plastic wheels on this, you'd want this to look like chrome polished. But since I'm putting bearings on it, it's not that important. Uh, so the next step that you've gotta be really careful about is when I tap the end of this. So drilling it takes uh, some time. This is grade eight. You don't wanna burn up your bit. Keep the uh, RPM really low on your lathe and just take your time. Let that bit do its work. Don't. I've burned up so many bits when I was younger trying to cram them through there. You want really low RPM, oil the bit, let it work its way in. And once you've got that hole done and you're ready to tap it, you want to really take your time tapping this, okay? I'm tapping it with a 1032 here and you want to oil it, take it slow, do not force it, you'll break your tap. And uh, that's pretty much all you got to do. Then. That's what I ended up with. So you've got the uh, threaded part, you got the axle part, you got the 1032s, and you got the bolts that go on the end, which will hold on the wheel. And uh, I think that's pretty freaking sexy right there. I think that turned out perfect for what I'm doing. And then to put it onto the uh, actual landing gear, that's what it's gonna look like. And these are the landing gear I TIG welded up. And uh, essentially, everybody, that's it. So rock on. Have a great time. I hope you found this informative. And, uh, you know, ask me questions if you got any. Take care. Bye.